If I were dictator of the earth, how would I handle the AI using artist's work as training data debate? I would completely ignore it because it doesn't matter at all. Doesn't matter at all. The artists aren't going to like that one. Tell them to learn to code. Dude, like, do you know what a fucking big job horse training used to be? Before the invention of the internal combustion engine? Because all those horses, they ain't going to just pull your wagon where you want it to go. Somebody's got to teach them how to respond and all that. What about the horse trainers? Also, I mean, the thing is, all this AI-generated art is pretty cool. As long as you don't care exactly what you get, right? But as soon as you do, the fact that there isn't a general intelligence behind it matters, right? And so I think it's one of these things where, you know, mediocre artists will lose their jobs, but good ones will be more in demand, if anything, at least for a while. And I mean, if we solve general intelligence, who knows, right? All bets are off at that point. Am I that worried that low skill artists won't have jobs? Not really, because there'll be other jobs to replace those. And again, the real challenge is to prevent too big of an upheaval at once, right? Just like you don't want to take away all the coal miners jobs at once because it's hard for them to adjust. You don't want to take away all the artist jobs at once. So you just try to smooth it out. All the mediocre artists. Nobody took their work. They became obsolete. AI arc. Well, let me ask you this. When artists learn to draw, how do they do that? When an artist wants to go paint in, say, an impressionistic style, how do they do that? Same with coders. I mean, essentially, like, look, if we can get to the point where an AI can correctly write code that is as good as what we would write, it'll be so much faster to do that. There'll be no point in writing it by hand. The problem is just we're really far from that, regardless of what all these, you know, overly excitable, impressionable people would like to think, because the code being output usually is just vapid nonsense right now. Now, again, the more you can, the more you can make AI actually understand things and be goal directed and have knowledge, like real knowledge, over time you might be able to fix those problems and eventually solve general intelligence. And then, again, at that point, all bets are off. GPT-4 is pretty bad at parallel programming. It's pretty bad at all programming, <laughs> but you wouldn't expect it to be. It's a language model. It's not like a generalized problem solver. It's a language model. Like people are just, so on the one hand, the AI tech that has happened in the past couple years is really amazing. Um, I was certainly unconvinced that I would see anything like that in my lifetime. So that's great. On the other hand, just have a realistic expectation for what it is and what it can do and what it can't do. A year ago, language models were barely outputting coherent English. Well, I think you have to say two years ago, but or three years ago. I mean... The thing is, behind the scenes, this stuff was all more advanced. So the, you know, the thing is, um, it just it just took a while to be publicized, right? Like I knew someone, I knew people who were working on language models that were pretty coherent, not quite as good as GPT-3, but pretty good in like 2019, right? It just wasn't deemed to be ready for prime time at that time. But, you know, so adjust the the time frame by some amount. But yeah, it's been rapidly improving. Okay, here's the thing. Here's the thing that's mistaken is you take the current language models that have been much more effective than people thought. They took everyone by surprise, I think. And just say, well, we keep scaling those up and then eventually they'll be able to do anything. And that's not really true. You scale them up with more and more resources or maybe slightly better training, they'll become asymptotically better at the thing that they currently do, which is bullshitting, right? And the problem is bullshitting doesn't work for programming. It works fine for writing your English paper or whatever. Still, uh, I don't mean to diss that, right? Because it might be an integral component in a general AI 
or a generalized problem solver that you might not even exactly call AI, etc. Um, it's it's maybe too early to tell, but it's just not the same thing. Like you can't solve the whole problem by just scaling up a language model indefinitely because the language model, you know, doesn't really understand stuff to the extent that there does seem to be more surprisingly complex world modeling and all that stuff deep down in there. Those models are like not quite in control of decision making in the way that people would like, right? So then the research there is to figure out how to dig those out and figure out how they happen and then put them more in control of decision making of what the output is. Here's what I would say. Language models by themselves are not going to be able to program well, right? But, well, and being able to program well requires some kind of extra jump in technological ability that we don't know exactly what it is yet. However, we've already had a couple such jumps in the AI domain since the 90s or whatever, right? And so even though I can't tell you what that technology is, it wouldn't be that wacky to expect it to happen. Just because so much time and energy and money is going into the field now that it's proving to be successful, right? But language models by themselves, just scaling them up dumbly by themselves is not going to do that much more than what they currently do.